The kid thing, I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm ready yet. I, right now, I get the appeal, though. I understand why people have kids. Do you know what I mean? It's basically like watching a mini you have a mulligan at life. <laughs> it's like, well, I didn't do much with this. Let's see how you do out there, kiddo. <laughs> but right now, I'm having such a good time watching my friends have kids because it's such an interesting contrast in, uh, from who I know them to be. Do you know what I mean? They're good parents, but they're pieces of shit. <laughs> It's just weird to watch them get all into it and be like, ha, 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 ha. Want a kiwi? It's like, well, five years ago, we were doing coke off a toilet seat together. I'm pretty sure your wife was pregnant at the time. We had 30 beers when we built your crib. It's fun to watch the, the evolution, though, of the parenting, because it's so different than how we came up, as it should be, right? Things should change over time, but, like, my friends are, like, aggressive about it, like, super in-your-face about anti-hitting, like, no hitting, which I agree with. I don't think you should hit your kids. But I've met kids that have never been hit before, and their arrogance is fucking infuriating. <laughs> Love my godson to death, four years old, beautiful kid. He's been told he's been loved, never been struck his entire life. He had the confidence and self-esteem the other day to correct me. <laughs> yeah, I'm not feeling that shit at all. <laughs> He's like, uh, no, no, Uncle Mikey, let me explain. I was like, oh yeah? Poof. I wanted to chop him right in the throat. <laughs> give him a little chop, just a little chop. That's a perfect bit of child abuse, just a chop. Because it doesn't leave a mark, but it briefly cuts their air supply. <laughs> so they know you mean business. I don't want him becoming some 60-year-old on a train, waking up somebody who just <laughs> almost sexually assaulted a stranger. 